Okay, so in this video, I want to talk about how to make a flat image that looks like this um, into a tangible 3D model you can use in your projects. So this is an image I just got off of textures.com. Um, I have a lot of them here, so honestly, any one of these could work, but to keep it simple, I'm just going to use this one. Okay, uh, the first thing I want to do is I'm going to just delete this basic cube and I'm going to go to file and I'm going to go to import and then images as planes. I believe this might be an add-on you have to turn on if you don't have this on already, but if you do, great. Now I'm just going to select that and pull it up here so I can import this. And if I go into the viewport shading view here, uh, we can see our image here. I'm going to have this selected, I'm going to tab into edit mode, and I'm going to just start adding edge loops. I'm going to start by just putting in edge loops along this like so, and basically you're going to want to get every single window, so this gets a little tedious after a while because you're just going, so I'm just going to skip ahead to when it's done, so we are done now. Alright, once you got the verticals going, then you're going to want to do the horizontals. So it's just kind of a rinse and repeat here where you just go along all the windows like this. And again, it's pretty tedious, so I'm just going to edit to the end. Okay, once that is done, you can see there's kind of like these dividers in between. So I'm gonna just add in another edge loop for those. Cool. Um, all right, I'm going to select all these, all these, all these. And I'm going to just circle select these because that'll be quicker. So you press C to bring this up. And we're going to inset all of these to kind of make those little boxes that you see. So once you have them all selected, what you're going to want to do is you're going to press I, which will inset. But we want to inset them all separately. So I'm going to press I and then I again. And that will inset along specific faces. So I'm going to inset them a little bit like this. And then I'm going to Alt-E extrude faces along normals to bring them in like that. Then I'm going to select all the windows. And similar treatment, I'm going to press Alt-E extrude along normals and extrude them back a bit farther in like this. Um, I want to right now go to the material properties. I'm going to just add another material and I'm going to select that uh, building material and I'm going to click this little copier here to make it its own and this is going to be the glass. I'll just do this right now while they're all selected. Okay, I'm going to hop over into the shading editor here. Um, I'm going to go to render view and honestly I'm going to want to go ahead and go to cycles and make sure that uh, GPU is selected, like so. I'm going to save this now because my blender has been crashing recently, so I'm just going to call this uh, Building Tutorial. Okay, um, for the glass, what we're going to want to do is we're going to get rid of this principle here, and we're going to add in a glossy, and we're going to add in a transparent, and we're going to combine those together into a mix shader, like this and then put the color here into the color. Um, so now they will be a bit transparent. All right, you can see how this is already starting to look all right. Um, we're going to want to go back into layout now. And I'm just going to take this and I'm going to just move it like this. Doesn't really matter. We're going to duplicate it, scale, uh, rotate it around here. Um, I'm just going to just get away with lining this up. Again, if you're doing this for real, actually line up your corners. Don't cut corners like I did. But uh, for a case like this, you know, it, it's okay. Now you can see the problem is we can see this is just an empty uh, shell of a building. So I'm going to want to add in something that will be the floors. So I'm just going to make a plane and I'm going to scale it to the right size. I'm going to just plunk it in here um, and then you bring it down to where the divider is and I'm going to Alt D to duplicate this um, 
come on, and put it in all these little dividers, like so. All right, that's looking better. Now we're gonna give this a material now. I wanna give it something that's gonna look like it has little lights in it. So I'm gonna make a new material. I'm gonna call this lights. And I actually have this texture and it's gonna work very well. Um, we're going to use this for the ceiling, which I know sounds insane, but you'll see what I'm gonna do here. So I'm gonna put this in for the color, the base color, and I'm going to put this in for the emission, like this. And now we have little ceiling lights and you can like tone that to however you want, but just for right now, that'll do. Okay, um, the last thing I wanna do is I wanna just give this uh, texture here just a bit more definition and a bit more interest. So I am going to actually take in an outside, like a, a different, material um something concretey like this could work or this or just anything else that is separate and will give sort of an offset to the roughness i'm going to plug this in so you can see here that's looking like this um and let's give this like a sun or something very direct put this down to five um, and just kind of off angle it here so we can get some slightly different specular highlights. And I'm also just going to take this and I'm going to plug it into the normal and I'm going to put in a bump, put this into the height. And now this is like, whoa, crazy bumpy, right? So I'm going to make this distance be 0.1, which will make it a lot less and then take that strength down quite a bit something around here just to give it you know a bit more texture and that's basically it now obviously this is a two meter cube so this building is tiny so you'd have to take the whole thing um and just make it way bigger if you wanted it to be the scale but this is how i would go about making like easy to handle building props that are very like easy for the computer to compute quickly and obviously it's not good for hero shots because it's like very low poly but if you view it from far away you know you're cooking all right i hope this was helpful